Well, you're going to be taking off for a trip here today. I try to narrate as good as I can and speak English. All right, here we go. We're going to win the game, I guarantee. Is this fun or what? This is what you lift all that boy. Football is where my place is. They call me Junebug, they call me Bug, Coconut, Coach, they call me Senior. Say ow! My last name it just happens to work hand in hand with how I play. Say ow! Here comes Say ow! Gonna get hit! I lose control once in a while. Yeah, I, I think it's natural. Glad to be employed, guys. Just glad to be employed. Shorts, tank tops, flip flops, that's what you say out. I think my life is so simple. I'm no different than I was 10 years ago. Sometimes you can collect shells. Shells collectors usually come in here and collect these shells here. I'm a beach bum. You know, I'm a guy with shorts and tank top. And that, that'll never change can't wear too much material around here. Don't check out the girls now, you're supposed to be filming me. Get over here now. When you come out here with some fans and you're, you're a body surfer and a surfer, you look where the waves are breaking. A lot of the guys like to do everything, all the tricks in front of all the girls, so they will mainly be placed right about in here. This is a stolen bike here, and uh, it's free showers. We had that recession with the water bills and everything. You come down here and get a free shower, you know? Free water, free everything else. Well, a lot of people like to come over here and just walk along the boardwalk and look over the boardwalk and find women laying out. Then you have the rollerbladers that come around and just bang into you, and then you get into a little fist fight, and then you go to jail, and then you wonder why in hell did I go to Mission Bay Beach? And sometimes you really got to hold on to your wallets around here. So you got to watch out for that. Check your wallet down. The beach here reminds me of the days when uh, me and my brother, Savai and David, used to come out here. And you know, we didn't have all the money and the, the material things to go out to movies. We couldn't afford a, uh, a surfboard. So uh, we thought we'd take the cheap way of just going stealing some fins, putting those on and sharing the fins and going out there and body surfing. This is a great day in San Diego, I tell you guys. You can never beat it. San Diego's my home. San Diego Chargers select Joey Sano. Get home, baby. Right on, baby. Diego. Woo! You couldn't write a better script than uh, Junior coming home and playing in front of his third grade teacher, his uh, high school teachers, and all his peers that he grew up with. Oh, I feel good. was a dream come true to me. When I'm on a sideline in any stadium, I'm really in a trance and, uh, you know, in a zone. Woo! I can't ever imagine a man, a boy, a kid to uh, know that he's going to be running into a 325-pound wall for 60 plays and not have anything physically, emotionally happen to him, whether it's butterflies trying to calm himself or just fear. You're going to feel some kind of emotion in the National Football League. Let's go! Play! Play! Let's go! Let's go! Wake up! Let's go! Before the play, you know, I'm kind of reading the scheme of things. I'm back set and seeing what fat guy I have to beat. <laughs> Man in motion, Moore to the right, back to pass up right, throws into the right corner, touchdown! Touchdown to Rob Moore, into the right corner! All right, baby, let's go, come on! We're all right, come on! They, they jacked you up, let's take it back, they jacked you up! Make a wall, baby, make a wall, you know they're gonna try to run, let's go! 
Great players feel the game. I can feel when you're going to run the ball. Form a wall up there. Let's just form a wall. Form a wall. I can feel your attitudes. I can feel your, your demeanor. I can feel the offense alignment looking at me. I can feel all this. They can't run on us, baby. They can't run on us. Let's go. You got it. Come on, baby. We're all right. Come on. Hey, D, way to get in there and get that one, two, three now. Way to go. San Diego is showing blitz. Here comes Seau. And he's sacked all the way back at the 41. He's going to score, New York. Stay up, huh? Stay up, man. Stay up, Sammy. Come on, baby. In football, you got to count on everybody to do their part. Stay together. Stay together. Come on, let's That's do all it. we got. That's all we have. You got to count on everybody to funnel the play in one direction. And if someone slips up, then obviously it's not going to work for you. Hey, Junior Sal. Junior Sal is coming with me. Junior's coming. It's Junior time. Junior Sal. My background is Samoa Island. That's like another couple of thousand miles away from Hawaii, so uh, we're related in some ways. Uh, Polynesian Islanders. Get Junior! Get Junior! Junior, sit out! Give it up, baby! Oh, you know. oh, no, 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 no. I'm a lucky guy that, that comes from the streets, that has a sob story that, to tell everyone. And uh, I know where I'm from. It started off in the streets of San Diego. The end zones were the uh, telephone poles. First down markers were the red car to the green car, whatever car is on the side of the streets. I used to play with my older brothers, and uh, they used to pick teams. I never got chosen. I was one of the subs, they, they would call it. You know, someone get hurt, junior, you know, you go in there, be center. You know, hike the ball over to the quarterback or something. All right, we're here now in Oceanside. This is where a lot of us started in Pop Warner games. Uh, certainly, I was one of them. I was number 58 for the Oceanside Vikings. I put on that jersey, it, it, it meant a lot for many reasons because it made me feel as if I was a part of something. You know, I was a part of something positive, a group. We had an identity. I was the youngest guy on the team due to the fact that I was kind of overweight. I was heavy for my age. I think I was heavy bone, you know, more than anything else. I, I wasn't a fat kid, it was just I was tall. You know, the first session I scored in Pop Warner was against uh, Rancho Penasquitos, and it was a fumble on defense. I picked it up and ran for 30 yards, and, uh, and we won a game, but we won by like 21 points, but I like to say that I scored a winning touchdown. So. Coming out here in the Pop Warner games, it's just a time for me just to kind of go back in time and, and uh, know where my roots were and how far I've come. And he rolls out. He pumped. Oh, man, I've always wanted to be a quarterback. I always wanted to be a quarterback. My first pass was a 60-yard touchdown pass. It kind of bounced off five players, and it ended up in one of my receivers' hand, and he ran the rest of the way, so I, it made me look good. And it was the first pass, so I eventually won that position. See that release? Second string. You know, I never had an arm, so, you know, eventually I got thrown into the defensive side. Hello, 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 San Diego. How you guys doing? So are you the third quarterback today, man? We're going to run an option today. Believe that. Gonna the middle linebacker position is now the quarterback of the whole field. Come on free, one free, one free. Nickel, nickel. Omaha, Omaha the apple. When I first came in the league, obviously the pass rusher linebacker was the glory. Well, now you're having the evolution of great athletes playing the middle linebacker. The same kind of athlete that would be able to play the outsides is now playing the middle, which gives him 
uh, room to cover the field, the whole field, where he can go sideline to side. It's hard to game plan a middle linebacker because he can move side to side. He can he can take an angle that uh, an a lineman won't be able to uh, obviously block. Chances of uh, me calling the first five plays, Jimbo. What do you think? Nah, defensively. Whether you pick my hole or another hole, I know you're coming downhill, and I'll be there to meet you. It's me and gaps. Stay in your gaps. And me and, and, and my reads. Baby, baby, baby. And once I see where I'm going to go, there's no stopping me. I'm gone. <laughs> oh. Guess I'm hoofing it from here. Hi, I'm Juju Sam. People always say, the NFL's like a jump on Sunday. So what better way to get in shape than a little safari? A say out safari. Here I am with Ranger Rich. Ranger Rich is gonna show us around the park and everything else and give us some animals. Rhinos. If I saw these guys coming at me, I would renegotiate my contract. Let, let me check this out. Oh, wait, wait, we should do that now. No, 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 no. Oh, we'll, okay, you're right. Yeah, we'll just hold off on that. Like a Thurman Thompson gazelle right there. You know those little running backs that just like swift through the lines? African elephants. Okay, they're right there. What are those striped things over there? Zebras. Zebras. What? Oh, man, I, I don't like those striped things. Rap, you know what? They're holding me. Already? Yes. Hey, Ranger Rich. Um, what are they doing? The Don't you guys need like a harness on the mouth or you know something to kind of tie them down? I can't believe you'd be intimidated. No, by I'm not guy. intimidated. Okay. Or not, not, no, no, no. That's not. That's not it. I can handle this. Really? Yes. Part two coming up, baby. Hey, that's one half. Come on. We're here in San Diego along the beach, and we're enjoying ourselves today. I'm getting kind of dizzy right now, but uh, it's okay. Hey, we're gonna play this off, all right? How you doing, buddy? All right, how you doing? I need some shaved ice so we can show you know people what it's like. You don't have any Samoan ice, do you? Samoan? Yeah. Oh no, no Samoan ice. You know, melt on the way over. You get to pick your flavors. Like pick your flavors. flavors on the ice. Blue and gold it matches my outfit. Hey, Tony, do we get like spoons or oh, I got you. All right. For free, too, huh? What, what is the world coming to, huh? Th this shave ice is pretty good when it's really hot out. It cools you down. So yeah, I guess this is what it's used for. Great idea. Great idea. A lot of money into it. Are my teeth green yet? No? Are they? They're getting there? Mm. You know, if you wait too long on the shaved ice, the sugar kind of seeps down to the bottom. I don't have a straw to slurp it up. So, you know, right now I'm tasting nice. I guess that's why I call it shaved ice. Do you, do you think I can stop playing off like I like this shaved ice and throw it away? Okay, thanks a lot. Take two. From Three Rivers Stadium in Pittsburgh on a rainy Sunday, the San Diego Chargers are hoping some thunder and lightning shows up on the field later today. The Chargers hoping to go where they've never, ever been before the Super Bowl. Well, the Steelers were definitely a team that uh, I was always watching when I was younger due to the fact that they had the steel curtain and the great defense. He's hit they didn't give us a chance in the world to go out there and compete and win because they're a great team. John L. stumbles into the end zone. The Steelers draw first blood. Mary crossing the field, loose football, and they're diving forward, and San Diego has it at the 41 yard line. Third down and 14 with a 
season on the line. Humphreys deep drop to throw to the blitz coming, looking long, throwing deep. It is caught! Touchdown, San Diego! Back pedaling, deep drop to throw, goes on a slant, caught at the five yard line. The tackles made immediately. Well, we're down to fourth down here, so San Diego is really right now talking to each other, saying, guys, this is it, this is our season right here. Throw, fire! Eventually, when you work so hard and you have the will to win, you're going to be a winner. The lightning bolt has come to Blitzburg, has won it, will turn right at the stop sign and head to Miami. The Chargers are going to the Super Bowl. For us to go up there and, and do what we did against them, uh, it was a big surprise and a big shock to the world. Super Bowl is something that we all shoot for as players, coaches. You've always dreamed to be part of the Super Bowl. We're finally here! Talking stops right here, baby! It felt like we had to get up every morning and apologize to the world that we made it to the Super Bowl. That was probably the hardest thing I had to deal with. We'll see what number 55 can do today. See what 55 can do. We'll see what happens. People were saying that, you know, the National Football League was going to lose ratings because the San Diego Chargers are in the Super Bowl. I thought we were in Vegas, to tell you the truth. We're sitting on the sideline being entertained when we were supposed to be the entertainers. I haven't seen the film to this day, and uh, I'm, I'm not looking forward to watching it. The pressure of going out there and performing under the lights against one of the best teams ever to be put together was a big strain. I thought I had a great game plan. I was thinking of going out there and beating Steve Young and Jerry Rice down. the Chargers to have to deal with. San Francisco scores so quickly. Focus of winning the game slipped quickly. And then Young made a leap over another tackler. It's hit hard, kept his balance. The Chargers really bought that big. As good as they were, when you look back on it, you can see that you know there, there probably wasn't a chance in hell that we were going to even come close to these guys. Back to throw is Young. Rules it across the middle. Catch by Rice. Beat the defender on the play. This is what the Chargers must deal with, the greatest offense in the National Football League. I want everybody up off that bench on that sideline, up into this football game, the whole half. Look up here, Junior, look at me, and let's go. The final score, 49-26, San Francisco wins. It was embarrassing. As simple as that. We just laid it egg. Um, they came out there and took it to us. And I have never been as embarrassed as I was when I went to the Super Bowl and, and obviously uh, us losing the way we did. Inside you're just dead. You feel numb. I would trade anything for a win. I would trade my own performance individually for a win any day. I can go out there and stink up the football field. And just as long as we have more points on the scoreboard, I can walk away and know I did my job. Hey! Give me something, baby, huh? But once we lose, it's just like a death that you're carrying around. You're carrying around luggage that you don't want. Are you serious? Are you serious? You're so disappointed. It's just numb. Mentally, you can't think right, but you got to snap out of it. Hold or left, baby. You got to play. You got to play, baby. You got to play. I failed more than I succeeded. Uh, I, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. And the reason why I know this game so much is because I failed at it.
When I won an NFL Man of the Year award, it was special because what it does is it, it not only gives you respect on the field, but it also respects you as a person, who you really are, out of the helmet, out of, out of the shorter pads, and out of the gridiron of beating up people. I'd like to thank the NFL for the opportunity that it's allowed me to go out and uh, take the stage that I have on the football field and take it out into the public to try to help the youth of San Diego. Hey, cutie, how you doing? Give me five. You gave me good luck last time. I love kids. Whenever there's a kid around, I like to just join them. I'm glad you're back on the sideline, right? We need a little, little luck here. I can imagine myself on a sideline meeting a professional athlete and have he or she come up to me, and uh, I know that would have been special. How you doing, kid? What's your name? Chris. You're five, Chris. Thanks for coming out, all right? All right. How are you doing? What's your name? Kyle. Kyle? Junior. Nice to meet you, all right? Thanks for coming out. What sport do you like? Yeah, what position? <laughs> For a kid to come up to me and, and, and ask me, you know, how do you do it? I would say be yourself. Find yourself. And then you go for it. Whatever it is. You don't have to be a football star to make it in this world. There's a lot of pressure put on them kids today to be something that they aren't. Why is it so important to me to uh, do charitable work? Yeah, be a good sport. You go a long way with that. All right, I'm gonna look out. It's not important, it's just natural for me. I feel it's my opportunity to go out and uh, pay my respects back to the community that helped build, build this number 55 that runs crazy on Sundays. I cross the white line in the tunnel. I go from a guy that's uh, a public figure, uh, a role model, to a guy that really doesn't give a damn about anyone on that field. It's my peace, it's my world. Anyone that disturbs that peace has to deal with me. It's a way of getting close to breaking the rules. It's a violent sport. The one tackle that's memorable to me is a tackle where a receiver for Seattle Seahawks caught the ball. And he was running down the field, and it was about like a 50-yard gain. But at the same time, he tried to cross the middle for more yardage. Well, I happened to be you know, in that 45-degree angle, and I caught him without looking. And he went limp once I hit him. And he was just like mine. I could have done anything with him, right? You know, in my arms. I had him like a little baby. That was a great hit. Hitting and punishing people without getting in trouble. And people love that. The perfect hit is when, when you're, you're faced up. I mean, anyone can hit a guy blindsided. But when you're faced up in an A-gap, coming one-on-one, -on -one, and you get lowered into your opponent, and you hear him go, uh. Just a little, uh. When you put on a good hit, it just, I mean, it hurts you too. I cause havoc, whether it's a receiver, a running back, or an office lineman. Anyone with the opposite jersey, you're definitely gonna to have to deal with Junior. I was coming right after. I said, go and duck. Come on. He jumped. Hey, he didn't want to duck. Human beings are meant to run as fast as they can, hit a guide, and then fall in on the ground, get back in the huddle, and come back and do it again. It's unnatural. You have to sacrifice your body. You have to sacrifice years down the line. When we are 50, 40 years old, we probably won't be able to walk. We probably won't be able to ski. We probably won't be able to play basketball with our kids. That's the sacrifice that you take to play this game. You've done all that you can. You got your will, your power, desire, your experience. You've come to the forefront. I feel when I'm on the field, there's no one around me. 
Okay, Junior, be, be there now. Be there mentally, physically, emotionally now. All day, all day. I have a peace when I'm on that field. There's nothing you can do to disturb me on that field. Mentally, physically, and emotionally, buddy, tap into that guy. That's the only guy you need today, all right? Strip that other person who's jet lagged. Get your right. I'm always going to talk to myself. Hey, Junior, you need a big play. Come on. All right, Junior, come on. I go over game plans. I'm going to say 8-3, hammer. Come on, run and hit, run and hit. Run and hit. Run to the ball, baby. I tell myself what to do. He's going to call your number, baby. Get ready. When you get it, go. Come on. All right, Junior, come on. Come on, Junior. Wake up. Every tackle is yours, Junior. You got to move, Junior, all day. You got to move. You got to hit him run. You got to move. Run and hit! Wants to throw, steps up to throw, pump fakes, looks, gets intercepted! Hit. It's intercepted by San Diego! Yes, they got the ball! Junior Seau! Junior Seau took the ball away from Elway and the Chargers have got the ball! Yeah, you, you amaze yourself sometimes. Chargers show safety, blitz and back and hit on the ball, goes free! All I focus on is where the ball is. Before the snap, I have a good sense of where the ball is going to go. Drop, flushed out of the pocket, throws to the end zone, intercepted on the goal line by Seau! Back to throw, looks, firing deep to Sharp, intercepted by Seau! And the Chargers have it back again. Fumbles the ball, it's picked up by Seau! My role in the defense is to get on the ball any way I can. 20, 15, down to the 10, to the 5, touchdown San Diego! You try to get back to the film room as quick as possible to go, go, go back to the second quarter. I want to see this one move that I made. But if I don't perform to the level in which I, I, I want to perform at, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to cuss myself out. Stay back, Junior! Damn it! That's me! Oh. Go on, Junior! Get off! Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. You know, the ego comes to play, and you, you really want to be the best out there. That yeah, one job description. Come on, brother. But once we lose, I failed, I take it personally. Maybe I shouldn't, but that's the way Junior Seau is. Go to work. On a given Sunday, when you're with Junior, understand that he's coming into this game feeling like he's the best and he can't be stopped. All right. You should know 85% of what they run before they run into formation. Break it down, break the odds down, and you'll be all right. Alert everybody else around you. Make the right call. How do you like this job? Okay. Is it all right? I think I'm going to take that over in about three years. What do you think? Think I can have it? Yeah, you can have it. All right. That's me. You know, you get a free ticket, right? the shoulders. No, we don't get charges. We get pottery tickets. Yeah, but you get to watch the game for free, too. It's great. That's awesome. Let me let you guys on on the secret right quick. That center, he's grabbing me all day. Center. Well, the we center. would say something, but we were told yeah. you're mic. What's that? We would say. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, now I look at you. Now it's a hot shush. Now you guys don't want no part of me now. No. See, I just no. want to get you guys on camera to see what you guys say about this holding gig. I think you guys are getting a bad rap about it, but you know I can't do anything well, you know unless you I tell said. me. You know what I said in the locker room? Yeah. And, and, and it was a beep. Out. It was beep, beep, yeah. beep, beep. <laughs> what? We're, we're gonna be watching both sides. Okay. All right. Oh, okay, come on now. What? No, who's talking about you? You you're guilty, huh? You're guilty, huh? Let's go. Come on, man. I only talk smack when 
when someone starts it. If uh, if we're out there and you want to talk smack to me, I can play that game. Get, get, down. get out of here, baby! Hey, going on? Hey, going on? Pop, pop. If it takes talking to get get into your mind, then it's going to be talking. Bitch. If I can go ahead and abuse you, a, a player that's in front of me, and have them thinking about the abuse rather than the game itself, I win. Nothing, baby. Red. Red. Bitch, boy, you don't Red. Red. Me and you one on one. Red. 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 It's a Ricky Lake show, is what it is. You know, the louder you talk and, and the more you talk, you kind of drown the other person out so he doesn't get his in. That was a little struggle right there. Red was a good talker. What a what? Yeah, I love that. You want to yeah, yeah. But if you want to be quiet and bang heads, I can play that game too. Don't say today. Don't say everybody run to the wall like crazy dogs. Let's go. You can do more with your helmet in someone's chest than you can do with the word of mouth. Yeah, let's make love to each other, fellas, huh? If you could give me five games on any team, I call them making love to them. Let's make love to each other, huh? Let's have a good time here, huh? What do you say, huh? I will know what they're going to do before they do things. I kind of felt that there was a, a time in this game that they were going to do something inside. You can run all day there. If I give you a wide call, stay outside. Give me a wide, just stay outside. Blast, blast! Wide, wide, Ray! We beat them inside. Now be alert for them to attack the outside. And that's exactly what happened there. No! No! I like to turn the offense into a defense. I want them to worry about what we're going to do. I want them to try to defend us. We got one on one side! They anticipated what we were going to do and they had a certain play that can beat that coverage. Touchdown for the Ravens. Hey, buddy, how did he get behind all of our guys? They found out what we were doing on that third and long um, situation. We got to change up. But what they're doing in that third and long, Coach, they're running cross. So the best thing for us to do is stay in eight, Coach, for pass them off. Yes. I'm asking the coach there, let's change it up. They caught us there. Come on, don't be so predictable. People always think that a junior wants to blitz every single down. Well, uh, it, it's not true. Junior wants to win every single down, whether I'm a decoy, whether I'm a blitzer, or whether I'm just a cover guy. Intercepted. Threw it right in the arms of Greg Jackson. Yes! Yes! Oh, guys, this is a venture, man, I tell you. But see, I can jump over here and look like an Aborigines. Don't you want that? This, this is the shot here. You know? Oh, we have the roller coaster here. You know, if this roller coaster was on, I would get on it. Sarah, aren't you going to give us the spill about keeping the hands and the feet inside? There you go. Now we're about to get up to the peak, fall down. This is what life is all about. It's a big roller coaster. Beautiful day in San Diego. Here we go. You know, I really hate roller coaster, but I forgot to tell you. Oh! This is how you run when you're after a quarterback. I, I don't like quarterbacks. Now we got done playing around with, you know, trying to get Junior to vomit. We're going to go over here and relax like we should be. My wish is that they will release me to allow us to go out there and seek employment somewhere. The truth is, is that Junior Seattle needed the Miami Dolphins 
more than the Miami Dolphins need a junior staff. Stay calm, everything's gonna be all right. Everything's gonna be all right, Junior. What do I bring to the table? I bring hard work. I, I bring perseverance. I bring experience. No choice, Junior, but to win. You have no choice but to win. You just give me a helmet. I mean, I'm so old, I, I've seen it all. Say, ow! What's up, baby? Don't ever get old, does it? Do this. You got it, baby. Junior Seau is here to play football. Let's go all day! All day, let's go! I got you, buddy. You. Nice seeing you, my man. You too. Keep doing weird, it. Huh? Oh, yeah. What's up, buddy? How you doing, man? All love, man. Love, love you, buddy. Have a love great you. night. Right. Miss you every day, man. Oh, buddy, really I miss you guys, man. You, you know what? You know my prayers are always with you guys. You know I'm cheering for you Thanks, every day. Man. Good to see you. Let's man. have fun, coach. I miss you, dog. I miss you, coach. How you doing? Yeah, it's getting... Hold on, baby. Hey, How's everything going? Everything's going great. You know it wasn't up to me. No, no, you I know, know that. that. I know that. I put right. you in a hard spot, though. Yeah. And that's my fault. No. All right. Playing well, though. Thank you. You ready to break? Ready to break? No breaks. I can't break. Do me a favor. You got all that nasty stuff off your arms today? Do me a favor. I'll do it. Help old man out. <laughs> I'm trying to stay young Help with these. They're, they're, they're grabbing me still, you know. Here they come there, Wally. <laughs> buddy. You can't help me, buddy. Stay outside. <laughs> Come on, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Huh? Huh? We're pulling yeah, yes, up, yes. Man. Please don't take me out from the middle on that coach. Right, Please. Right. He had 45. Okay, okay, I'm just saying. Please don't take me out of that middle. They're playing in my hands on that. It's just a, a, a game of a chess being played with real men. My mindset is just. I'm going to move my pawns, I'm going to move my bishops hey. into place, and we're going to attack. When we penetrate, if we make him cut early before he wants, we win. It don't matter if you miss the tackle. It don't matter if you don't got the tackle. Make him cut. Take away 21, lurk him. It protects the run, lurk. I am now studying. Officer coordinators, you know, the personnel is just a given. I, I've seen them on film. I know their demeanor. I'm letting you go, dog. I'm letting you go. I'm letting you go, dog. Run! Run! And the excitement that I have when I'm able to see something before it happens. Yes! It's something that I'm going to miss. Reverse alert! Reset! Cloud up! Run! I got the pre snap ring. Yeah, I got it. Someone on the offensive line is going to give the play away, and I'm going to find it. Run! Go, 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 go! Yes, sir. There's nothing that you can throw at Junior Sal when I get on the field that I haven't seen before. They're going to try everything. You know they're going to try everything. We need a touchdown, baby. Come on, let's not settle. Come on, big old. Finish it, let's go. Casey back to throw. Oxen fires and touchdown. Miami Dolphins. You know what I mean? Yeah. Love you. All right. You know, that's, that's my team. You know, I got the workplace in Miami, and I love Miami, and uh, they understand where I come from, and my heart and soul is with the guys in that locker room. Uh, it's an uphill battle, but they got the character on that team to turn it around. Yeah. I really do sing good. Everybody, set your body right. You, me, 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 me. You. you. I want to get down. I just let the big guy get down. I'm not internationally known. I don't know if I got any of those words right. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. No? 
Love music. You gotta have music in your life. It's gonna be a good day. Hey, baby! I don't like this music, coach. It's not doing anything for me yet. You know? I love old school. I love the Manhattans, I love the shy lights, I love the stylistics. Get some beat, get something going, you know? Maybe the shy lights, you know, Manhattan or something. The music where you just shove that eight track in. You know, back in the days when they used to sing. What do you think? Huh? I always feed off my fans. I have the best fans in the world. See, I have a good fan right here. You know, he's my buddy. See, he challenged me to a game of football. I don't know his name, but how you doing, buddy? Hi, I'm Studley. You're Studley? Yeah. Oh, I'm Studded. How you doing? What's up? All right. I'll see you around. Hey, I'll talk to you later. I'll call you up later on tonight. Okay. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Much. It was nice meeting you. It was nice meeting you, you take too. Take care. Okay. The best car during the NFL. Uh, thank you. <laughs> you got to remember, I'm from San Diego. I went to my elementary, junior high, high school, went to USC. So these guys have seen me grow and as a person and as a football player. And when I have them behind me, that's family. How you doing, buddy? Good luck against the Bills this year. All right. Thanks a lot, buddy. All right. You stay with us. All right? You got it. It's something that is going to be missed by every football player. That cheer, that loud sound that just like gradually builds and it starts to rock and it just like runs right through your body for a split second and then you get into your huddle. That little feeling there, that little high there is what you play the game for. Just win, have fun. Have fun when you're out there. The hell with the money, fellas. The hell with the money. There is no tomorrow. There ain't no tomorrow. We'll pack it up if we lose, right? Let's go ahead and win this. Win, all three. One, two, three. Win! Let's have a good time here. What do you say, huh? Let's go. Play off each other. We know what we got to do. Someone makes a mistake, someone cover for him, all right? Don't give up on anything. Run to the ball, to the whistles blow. Let's go. What do you say, Marco? What I'm going to miss are the players. The guys have so many great stories. 90% of them are lies. You hear these stories and you laugh at them and, and you walk away knowing that it, is, it isn't true, but just socializing with the guys and just having a great time. It's Louis Bush, the best unknown linebacker in the world. You can always run into a wall and hit a wall and get bruised up if you miss football per se. But socializing with the guys is something that I'm going to always miss. Let's get together afterwards. Stud him up, man. What's up, man? How you doing? All right. Oh, yes. Let's, Let's do go, it. Baby. Let's, Let's go, go. Let's go. Oh, I love you, baby. All right. This is San Diego. A little jog on the beach. Show you what we do here. We're about to close things out. Coming from Mission Bay in San Diego. You know, this has been fun for me and family. From Name is Junior Say Al. But the Dolphin season ends on the floor. Boy, how many ways can you find to lose a football game? The game taught me that it isn't all about me. You don't you don't quit this game because you want to. You quit the game because you have to. There's a difference. You don't, you don't walk away from the game and say, no, I don't want to play no more. You walk away from the game because you're limping. You walk away from the game because you got a broken arm. You don't walk away voluntarily and say, I don't want no more. You walk away because you have to.